What's up guys, this is Matt, and today I'm going to be playing a game called Cart Life. Really what this game is, is maybe a simulation or even a demonstration of the cold, cruel world. Um, life beyond school. What happens when you need to pay rent and you don't have the money to do so. Um, it's a bit more of a depressing game. But I, I think it's an eye-opener, and at the same time, it's, it is amusing, as, as sad as it can be. I think it's amusing, and it's, it's, it's an interesting title. So I, I'm going to be playing a little bit of it here on my channel. Um, so here we are, Cart Life. We're going to play as Andrus Poder. Andrus has purchased a newsstand in Georgetown and rented a room at Breezy's Motel. He needs to come up with $119 for rent by Monday, and also $35 for the newspaper contract, which is due on Friday. His other expenses are the mundane and lifelong necessities of food, cigarettes, and cat food. If he can make enough money this week to satisfy these needs, he'll be just fine. So here is uh, Andrews over here on the left side of the screen, and we're going to press enter because this is the uh, character we want to play as. So here we go, we're going to start cart life. And uh, we're going to begin from the beginning. Winners don't use drugs, remember that. Uh, here we go. Prologue. Later today, Andrus Poter will buy a newspaper stand when he arrives in Georgetown. During the trip there, he refines his English by translating Ukrainian poetry on the train. He hasn't arranged for a place to live yet. Maybe he can find an inexpensive hotel. And here's uh, our hero at the bottom of the screen. And we're going to walk over to the door labeled Begin Game. I wonder what lies beyond. And it gives us some instructions. Use the arrow keys left and right. Down will operate our stand. Up will interact with objects. And the space bar will bring up the menu. All right, cool. Sounds good enough for me. Wow, I can't read that. On the right, the sun. Okay. Doesn't tell us what direction we're going. On the left, the moon. Now I'm confused. Ahead, the stars. So it's like Neverland. Second star to the right and straight on till morning. Present day. All right, cool. Here we go. And here's Andrus walking. You see at the bottom of the screen, we're on the corner of 5th and Franklin. Up, oh, and I guess I can control the character now. Press the up arrow to speak with people. Okay. Oh, Timothy. Hey there. Come to take my stand, huh? Hello, Timothy. Yes, I'm here to buy stand from you. Glad she'll be put to use. I paid for the permit, but I haven't used the stand for almost a year now. I have check. Is check okay? Sure, check is fine. Timothy Bigby. B-I-G-E-Y. Date? What is date today? 18th. April. Right 4-18. That's if he understands... The uh, English pronunciation of Arabic numbers. All right. Oh, two thousand dollars. All right. Got stand D. Looks good. I guess you're all set, and I should get out of here. Did it? Uh, did you need any help getting started? Uh, no. I think we got it. All right. Listen, Andrus. This is a really good location. A good setup. Just take care of the stand and be good to the regulars. Remember that. And you'll make your money. All right, cool. So I got a contract for the newspaper, the Georgetonian. And I got a Franklin permit. Oh, because we're on 5th and Franklin, right? Okay, so I got the permit to have the stand here. Okay. Later that day. Oh, Breezy's Motel. I We read in the prologue that that's where we're going to get our room. All right. Klimbovsky. Uh, yes, Mr. Klimbovsky. Yes, please to wait outside here while I get a room for us. I'm talking to the cat. All right, let's uh, 
walk over. I'm assuming this is the office. Ah, here we go. Desk clerk. Hello. Yes, hello. You want a, you want room? Yes, one room, please. How long? I'm not sure. A few weeks, maybe. Okay, you pay every week. You pay here, understand? Yes, good, okay. How much is... How much for this room? Room is 119 each week. That weekly rate. You pay now, also. Yes, good, okay. Man, another 100 bucks. That's a lot of money so far today. I still probably need food and cigarettes. I got the key to room A3. Okay, upstairs. Be quiet in there. Yes, okay. One more thing. No pets and no guests. Oh my goodness. What are we going to do with Mr. Glombowski? Well, if we don't ask, he won't get suspicious, right? Maybe? Alright, let's 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 just... No, we're all set. Three. Alright. That is all I am needing. A3 is on the second floor. Be quiet in there. Bye-bye. Okay, whatever. Let's, uh, let's go get the cat. Kind of does it for me. There we go. Let's uh, let's head over there. Just do a little walking. And how do I get up these stairs? Not like that. Maybe like the up arrow. Oh, there we go. It's just the up arrow. A3. Cool. We got a room. Oh, that's cool. I like how it just like makes the front wall invisible. All right. Oh, we're going to talk to the cat again. Meow. Yes. Hello, Mr. Glombowski. Yes, we found a new home. He didn't ask you anything, you crackhead. How long? I'm not sure. A few weeks, maybe. Uh, you must be quiet. You are secret here. Like the cat understands that. Yes, I understand. I will get a new litter shed for you. And food. You stay here in the room now. See you soon, Mr. Glombowski. Okay. Um, awesome. Press up to go out. I wonder, I don't know what time of day it is. I think you can purchase a watch. I wouldn't know where to get it, though. Um. I wonder if I just go to, not downtown, maybe. All right, so these are all the places I can travel. Oh, there's a, a superstore. Oh, I'm sure I can buy something there. Let's okay. Click to travel. How do we get there? Oh, it'll take me an hour if I take the bus. It's only seventy-five cents. That's not bad. I'm not gonna pay twenty for the taxi, but but it says it doesn't know when we'll get there if we walk. So an hour, an hour out of the day. That's not too bad. Oh look, there's the uh, newspaper. Okay, cool. So we're gonna walk into the superstore. Um, in, I guess this is my inventory, right? So let's go to the items in the store. What is this? Old, oh, cigarettes. We probably need cigarettes. Let me close this real quick. This is my items then? I have two cigarettes remaining. So let's, I guess, buy a pack of cigarettes. Okay. What else do we need? Cat, what's cat vittle? All cats, domestic and wild, are considered carnivores. Their diet must consist mostly of meat proteins. Cat vittle, like most cat food, is made of grains and various animal byproducts. We can get 20 servings per bag. Okay, so we'll buy some cat food. Gotta watch the money. What else is there here? What is this? I don't want... What is this? Oh, a watch! $7 navy? I'll buy that. Buy item. Now we'll know what time it is. What is this? Oh, he doesn't need a cuddle toy as much as I love him. Little Mr. Glimbowski. Let's close that inventory. Okay, here's the food for us. Um, peanut butter. It's got a bunch of servings. $3. What's this? Hot dogs. Case contains 24 hot dogs. Oh, but there's requirement for preparation, so we probably have to have something to cook them with, which I doubt we have. Sauerkraut, you don't get that many servings. Oh, man. 
Granola bar? What is this? Gondola bar. You get four servings per pack. Made from only the most economically efficient ingredients in manufa- Building's closed! I was shopping! Oh, man. And I'm probably very hungry. Oh, look. Now we have a time, so it's 10. Oh, and the time does not pause while we're looking at the menu. All right, so I guess let's get home. We could at least sleep and uh, actually let's have a cigarette first. Equipment. Is this the cigarettes? Yes. Smoke. Smoking causes lung cancer. Oh, this is depressing. Oh, goodness gracious. How do I slow that down even more? Let's slow this down. There we go. Maybe we'll be able to read what's going on now. Press OK. And, okay, we need to get going because time is not slowing down for us. Let's uh, head off this end of the map here. And our hotel is way back here, right? Breezy's Motel. Click to, click to travel. Oh, and of course, $10. I don't even know how much money I have left. I don't feel like walking all night. Let's just pay it. Hopefully we'll make this back tomorrow. Georgetown Taxi Shuttle. All right, let's walk upstairs. Man, this is its a real sense of urgency in this game. You can't pause the clock. I'm not used to that. Let's head into A3. And we can actually feed Mr. Glombowski, can't we? If I hit, what do I hit, up? Oh, here we go. Feed the cat. Oh, he looks so happy, look at him. Um, I don't need to smoke right now. I, I really just need to sleep. I'll come over here, sleep. We're gonna get ready for bed, I guess. Oh, okay, brushing teeth. Use the arrows and just back and forth. There we go, and down to spit. There we go, cool. Woo, look at that butt. Okay, and here's the expense reports. This Okay, so we still have $91. This is how much we've spent today. The total, my goodness. On travel, that was the, the cab, right? Damn. All right, we'll close that out. Oh, I guess I'm sleeping. Whoa. Am I awake? Oh wait, look, he looks like he's sleepwalking. Look at the... Are these people? I can't interact with them. There's price, drink, info, cost per. Oh, this is depressing. That's all he's thinking about is money and what things cost him. All right, sure, yes, let's save the game here. Um, and yeah, okay, let's end the video here. This is, uh, I guess that was day one of cart life. I'm going to save the game and I want to thank you guys for watching. If this seems interesting, um, if you like the narrative, whatever, just leave a comment, um, like the video, let me know what you think. More Dwarf Fortress will be coming. I've been playing Call of Duty, so I have uh, a lot of videos planned to come out, but I thought this would be a fun little break, a different tone for my channel. So, uh, thank you guys for watching and until next time. Thank you.